Welcome back to another clay video. Today, we are going to make and play Angry Birds using polymer clay. Let's begin by creating the birds. And the most iconic bird of all, red. Even if you've never played Angry Birds before, you've probably seen this bird before. Red is the leader of all of the other birds, and he doesn't have any special abilities like a lot of the other birds do, you just sort of launch him into the towers, but he's still a very important bird in the games. Let's create the eyes here. The beak was a little bit hard to make, it took me a few tries to figure it out, but if we create it in these two separate triangles and place them onto the face, it works pretty good for the beak. Now we need the inner part of the eyes. We'll fill that in with some black. And with some flattened down black clay, we'll create the eyebrows. This is what really makes him angry. He doesn't look angry until he has the eyebrows. On the back, we have this little tail. We have to cut out the individual feathers and let's stick that on there. I want it to be pretty flat to the body, so hopefully it doesn't break off when we launch it across the room. Now let's create one of my favorites in the game. I feel like most people don't like the design of this one, maybe it's not too appealing, but I've always liked this bird a lot. This bird's special ability is that after you've launched it, you can tap whenever you want and the bird will explode. It's pretty useful if you can get this bird to be sort of in the middle of everything and you can just blow it all in every direction. The beak on this one is a little bit different. It's a lot bigger on the bottom, and sort of just a small, flat piece on the top. Now I knew this part on the top was going to break off when I launch it, so I'm going to use this wire and hopefully this makes the fuse a lot stronger. Let's stick that into the head. And bomb is complete, and we will move on to our third Angry Bird. This is Chuck, and I would say this is probably the second most recognizable bird in all of the games. He's just like Red pretty much in every game. This one I think is pretty cool because it's a triangle, but it made it very hard to launch out of the slingshot. The beak on this one is also a little bit different. It's very similar to Red, but it's a lot longer. The special ability on this bird is that you can tap on the screen whenever you want, and it will give it a speed boost, so it can be helpful to smash through some walls that maybe you wouldn't have otherwise gotten through. For the hair on top of the head, we have these separate feathers, and let's put that on there. Hopefully it's pretty secure and it won't break. We have the same on the tail. And Chuck is complete, so it's time for the pigs. This is the main enemy in the game. Your goal is to always knock down and destroy all of the pigs. Why? Because they want to steal and eat your eggs. And to birds, eggs are very important. So it's best that we destroy these pigs and don't let them get the eggs. I figured since we have three birds, let's create three pigs. Then we can have a fair battle. The good thing about the eyes on the pigs is they're supposed to look pretty dopey and weird, so if you don't put them in the right place, it only looks better. We have some eyebrows. And instead of creating all three pigs to be exactly the same, I decided to create one of the variations, and we're making the corporal pig. This one's pretty cool, it has this helmet on, and we have the little straps on the side. The face on this one is exactly the same as the other pigs. Let's add some damage on top of the helmet. And now with some aluminum wire, we can create the slingshot. I'm a little bit worried that the slingshot won't be strong enough and it will bend or break when we launch the birds, but we will see when the battle begins. I'm also going to double up the wire at the bottom for the handle and pinch it with this pliers. I don't really do too many things with wires, so I'm pretty new to armatures. This is my waste clay. It's basically just a bunch of colors left over from other projects, but it works great for the filling of things like this, then I don't have to waste so much brown clay. Now our pigs and birds are ready to get baked. 
After baking, you will see a very rare sight on this channel, me painting. It doesn't happen very often, but this is very easy to paint, it's just a solid color, there's no extra details, and after three or four coats, here we are with the slingshot. So let's take some rubber bands, and this will be for the launching part of it. And this is some fabric I found at the store. It said it was for a bandana, so I don't know if this is a bandana or if you just use this to make one, but it should work great for the slingshot. We're using some hot glue to stick everything together, and we'll get a little bit more on the inside. And now our slingshot is ready. Although the cup is on top, which is a little bit weird, I think it will work out pretty good. So now we are ready for battle. I hope you all enjoyed my clay version of Angry Birds. If you want to see some more of the birds, or maybe some different level setups, let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.